When's the best time of day to shoot wedding photography portraits? A lot of photographers already know this, and it is the golden hour. And I wanna just quickly talk about the golden hour. I don't know what it is. This year I tend to have maybe had certain time restrictions on the day, but not managed to get out during the golden hour as much as I would have liked. Uh, we've had a funny summer in the UK. It's always a funny summer in the UK. The weather is never predictable. But the last two weddings I've shot, we've had this lovely golden sunshine coming through. And this last wedding in particular is the one that made me think how much I love the golden hour. There's a reason it's called the golden hour and it's because you can get gold like this. Some of these images have come out so much better than I could have hoped for and that is down to light. Photography is all about capturing light, as you know. And I suppose this video is for those that maybe haven't done as much photography, especially as much wedding photography. If you can get time to practice, get out there, get someone, family, friends, anyone you can practice with for taking portraits, if you've got the sun that's going down and it's looking nice and bright, wait until that hour before sunset or during sunset and that is when you will get shots like these. So the weather is obviously something that plays a key part in what you can do as a wedding photographer on the day. Portrait photography at the right time, if the sun is out, you can really get amazing images. Something that I just love doing and I seem to have lost that this year. I think the timing for me has always been difficult. It does change throughout the year as the seasons change, but sometimes you get that sunset and even if they're just about to start their speeches, I think it's always a good idea to just grab them, stop what they're doing, ask them, can I have 10 minutes with you just to take you out while everyone's busy? Get these shots, I'm telling you it's worth it. You've got to be positive, you've got to reinforce it. You've got to say it's totally worth doing. You may even want to pop out, get a shot of the sunset to show them what it looks like and be like, I want to put you in the middle of this. And it's something that I like to try and do with all the couples. So I just want to show just a few images and just to reinforce why this really is the best time of day to get your couples out. If you can get shots like these, you can reinforce your own portfolio, keep showing people what you can do, and I'm telling you, these will be the shots, whether you're using off-camera flash or not, it really doesn't matter. It's something that you can just showcase what you can do with available light and they will be your wow shots. These will be the shots that get clients interested in you and your work. Now, as I say, I don't think it's anything new in the world of wedding photography, obviously, but there are a lot of people out there that don't quite take advantage of this time and it's the real key time to get out there. Now, I mentioned this last wedding because everything came together. The stars aligned. I had them for a good half an hour and we went out and got these images. This is the same couple and these were all shot in less than 30 minutes. I obviously shot quite a lot more, but less than 30 minutes, we walked around the whole estate and it's actually a beautiful mansion house here local to me. As a venue, it's stunning, but you'll notice none of these images really show off the house. It comes down to having that beautiful sunset and just somewhere nice and private to take them. There's one shot here where they are framed by the doorway. Um, I've done it before, my colleagues have done it, I've seen other photographers do it. It's not that unique, but when you get the weather just right and you can use it for a silhouette shot like this, there's a very famous bridge here which joins England to Wales and that is the bridge you see in the background and it's, it's such a stunning image. I, I just love this image and I love every image that I got actually during this golden hour with this couple and it's just reignited my love for the golden hour and it was just something that I wanted to mention to you all and just reinforce how good this time of day is for your portraits. I'd love to know your favourite time of the day, especially when it comes to portraits, but also for wedding photography. 
as you can tell mine is the golden hour you know i like to do a lot of off-camera flash if you've seen my other videos on this channel and i do really enjoy that but i'll be very interested to hear from you guys that's it for me today it's a very quick video we've nearly caught up on an extremely busy summer with regards to editing all the weddings and commercial work we've had on and we've got quite a few cool things lined up over the next couple of months so do please keep an eye out on the channel if you haven't already please do give the video a thumbs up like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification icon so you're kept informed of our future videos as always i'm matt from roto and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>